Hello, you guys. This is going to be a channeled um, message reading and um, kind of feel the vibes and the energy of what this message is about. So I'm just going to go with the message and see what spirit has. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So this is the energy I'm getting. Um, it's a codependency situation, codependent relationship or pattern or cycle. Um, and I feel like it's very karmic in nature because... Um, I have the Justice card, and I also have the Ace of Cups, which tells me that there's something that needs to be healed here, but there's also contracts or karma involved in all the other three of Pentacles. Okay. Um, it's going to be not an easy decision to make because I feel like you guys have been in some codependent relationships or connections that it's not going to be easy to break out of, obviously, because you have the justice card here. Okay. So it's kind of like you're going to have to make some big decisions on whether or not um, you're ready to break this cycle or not, because it is a cycle. It is um, a lesson that needs to be learned. Some of you are dealing with third party relationships. Okay. Um, and you feel like you are powerless in the situation, kind of like you should be here. You're stuck. The hangman. You feel very stuck here. Um, with the page of swords, it tells me that that you might have gone through a rough period mentally. Someone might have been verbally abusive, like, you know, kind of keeping you stuck. I'm hearing the word finesse. <laughs> Like finessing you, just yeah, deceiving you with their words, lying to you to keep you here stuck. Um, there's trickery going on with these relationships with these people. Um, like I said, there's a third party situation. This could be someone that's telling you that they're gonna leave their partner, um, you know, or that they don't want to be all in with you because they're afraid and they're running from you because of their fears with the temperance card. It's kind of like you're trying to make it work with someone that you just don't, there's no real chemistry. There's nothing real to go off of. It's it's like you're trying to force spirit to blend you and bring you guys together. And it's, it's, not, it's not going to work that way. You can't force spirit to make someone right for you if they're out of alignment with you and you don't even you're not even convinced that this person is right for you it's like you're you're just you're just not convinced you know this person is very deceptive with the nine of pentacles i get where this is going um the nine of pentacles just when you're doing well for yourself and you take your power back you start feeling good um trusting yourself taking your own power back content with who you are the hermit card you might have been mia no one knows where you are no one sees what you're up to or you have someone that's stalking you that's seeing this this could be a stalker not so much like a stalker that rides by your house and watches you go to work and peeps through your window stalker but someone that's checking up on you through social media asking people about you you know doing underhanded stuff um they see that you're moving on, like you're doing well for yourself. Could be that they are seeing things like you're partying, you're going out on vacations. Could be that you found someone else for some of you or your, your money is right, you're doing good. And it's kind of like they're seeing this. I'm getting the word jealous. This person could be very jealous of you moving on away from them or every time that something goes good for you when you're celebrating that joy and that happiness, they kind of get mad at you. I don't like this king of cups at the bottom. His face is all jacked up. So this is just feelings of jealousy. Yeah, like just stone cold. And this could be a water sign that you're dealing with or it could just be this person has some serious issues with feeling jealous for your success. Or you moving on. It doesn't even have to be like money. It could be that you have a new home with the, the four of wands. Like you're celebrating that you moved on and you're moving out. And this person's not happy about it. I'm not going to pull any more cards because I feel like I'm pulling too many. But I'm just going to pull two more. All right. So where are we headed with this spirit? <clears throat> the death card. The world. Yep. Two completion cards. You know that this situation is dead. There's no, re no reason to need to revitalize the situation, revive it. It just needs to die. It needs to just be dead. 
because the truth of the matter is, you know that this person is not of your highest good. There's the judgment card at the bottom. You know deep down within the heart of you, the soul of you, the depth of you, that this is not the relationship for you. If you look at all of these cards, it's not really romantic. It's not a romantic energy that comes from these cards. It's not a coming together type of energy. The Ten of Pentacles in this deck, the woman is scouting this man. Like, they're just not happy in this picture together. It's a lot of singlehood here. A lot of people needing to decide. There's third party energies. So, you know deep within yourself that this is not the situation for you. That this is totally unhealthy. Okay? I've been picking up this energy all day. Um, just when you think that you're done and you've moved on and you're feeling good about yourself and you might even meet other people or you might just be doing your own thing, just feeling good, being beautiful or handsome on your own, you know, your finances are looking good, you're looking better, you're doing better for yourself, you feel better. And here comes this leech that doesn't want to leave their drama behind whether it's another person or multiple people they have in their lives um you know little minions or their baggage their drama their karma you know their unrighteous ways they're not willing to heal put the bottle down stop smoking and drinking too much they're not ready to give up that person that they claim that they're done with they're not in love with you blah 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 their excuses with the seven of swords that keeps you stuck when you know better, but you're afraid to leave, this person comes back just when you think that you, you've totally detached. This is an energy vampire type of person. This person feeds off of your energy, but it's very karmic because it's like you need that balance. You need that contrast, the opposites, but they just don't blend. They just don't go together, okay? They just don't go together. So... There's Sagittarians involved, there's Libras involved, there's Virgos involved, there's Scorpios involved, there's Tauruses, Capricorns um, involved, Aquarius is involved, Aries involved. These are the people that are involved that are going to be hit heavy by this codependent energy. But also you could be any of these other signs, of course. Someone is dealing with a water sign or someone is a water sign. Because you have the Page of Cups also. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Can Scorpio definitely here. Um, it's just not going to work. And I feel like once you come out of this dark period, it's like you're going to feel like the sense of completion and success that comes from it. You feel free. This woman's naked. She's completely free. She's not trapped anymore by these energies. She's totally free to be herself. And she feels a sense of, I, feel, I hear the word warmth. I don't know why, but warmth and feeling at an all time high and free. It's like a load on your back. Um, I remember when I broke up with a person years ago and they, when they, as soon as they packed all their stuff, they got out of my house, they, all their stuff was gone out of my house and they finally shut that door. They didn't even say bye to me and I didn't even care. When they shut that door, it felt like a weight was lifted off of me. I was so light. I could I could have fainted. So that was a sign that I was being like spiritually held down, like almost like I was underwater. And I was in that situation for like four years. It was it was all bad, but I feel like that's the feeling. Like you'll just feel so freaking light. Like your body will literally feel light because I feel like as you know, when your body is like your body just carries all of this weight, it's heavy. You're walking heavy through life and you feel very down and stressed. And it's that energy of that other person leeching onto you. You can tell when someone is just on your back, your energy, you can feel them. When you stop thinking about them, you go on and you move on with your life. And here comes this other person. I feel like you need to heal from the cycle because you'll be back into this loop of with the two of wands of confusion do i go back should i say should i go then your heart's open again because you're starting to choose that person again you feel like this person is it's almost like you give this person too much power over you or the energy that you feel with this person you give it too much power and say you know because it won't ever go away it must be something divine here and it's not 
other than the fact that there's karma that you need to heal and learn from this situation. Whether the other person wants to learn their own part of the karma, that's up to them. But you can't try to force this other person to heal with you. Spirit can only work so much. What the other person is doing is not your business. With the death card, this has been a long time coming. It's been a stressful, long, drawn out process. And I feel like you're going to close the chapter on it because you know it's time. You know it's time. You've either got signs that it is time, messages from spirit, from other people, just synchronistic messages out of nowhere, dreams about it. You know it's time. And this person is not going to free you until you say, you know what, enough is enough. Whether you say that to them or you just say it within yourself, like, this is enough. Even if you have to pray about it. Set out the intentions. Whatever you got to do, I feel like you got to do it. And when you're really free, when you're truly ready and free and or want to free yourself, the cycle will be done and you'll feel that weight lifted off of your shoulders. You'll feel like you've won some sort of marathon because it's like I've been going through this cycle for so long, so many years, so many months, whatever. And you finally say, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm at my wit's end and this is this is it for me. This is it. I'm here. The world card. This is me. That I'm free. There's nothing. I'm not carrying any weight. I'm not carrying the old karma, the old baggage. It's done. You know, I don't care. This person, will they ever go away? I can't say so. I don't I don't know if this person will ever stop energy stalking you. I can't say that. I feel like it's all up to you. And your willpower and your strength to say, you know what, I don't need this energy anymore. And you won't feel tempted to go back because you'll feel such of a light freedom. And you might have felt that period, you know, with the nine of pentacles, you did feel that that stench of feeling free by yourself. And I got this going for myself, but this woman doesn't need any. It's kind of like you needed to distract yourself with items and material things and people. But once you just say, you know what, even with that stuff here, I got to feel that contentment and that freedom just by me not carrying anything she doesn't have all this extra stuff with her or people involved it's just her it's just her she's carrying these batons which represents her victory and success and she has this drape around her which i feel like is a drape of her wisdom the wisdom that she's carried her psychic abilities, her insight, her intuitive knowing. Also, she carries that with her. She's graduated on that level. She sees things. She, her discernment is deep. It's evolved. It's grown throughout this whole entire process. She can't easily be fooled and drawn back in anymore. She's free. She doesn't need anything. She doesn't need anything to validate her, to occupy her time, to get out of this person. Because I feel like that's what we were doing. Um, is holding on to people and things like different, you know, outside vices just to distract us from this energy of this person. And now it's like, we don't need that anymore with or without those things. I'm detaching from this person. I don't need to be distracted anymore. I'm just going to do it because I know it's time and it's what I want. And I feel good doing that so I can get on with my life. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming so that's the message you guys i hope that this reading resonated with you and gives you a lot of insight and clarity I put you on the right path you guys <clears throat> not that you were never on the right path to begin with but putting you where you are your highest you know where you're your best self where you can actually be your authentic self and be free and be in healthy situations and be healthy within yourself you know, you don't need this karma anymore. It's done on your end. Whatever the other person is up to, their karma, you know, whatever that is for them, it's going to be what it's going to be. And it's not, you know, your responsibility. Okay. So, I mean, I definitely feel like this person's going to continue to sneak around or snoop around whether they're doing it in secret or they just start coming in your face. You know, that's their issue. That's their problem. I feel like it's a 360 now. Maybe it was you that was all up in everybody's face and trying to, you know, make something work and make something happen. And this person was like dodging you and trying to run just full of lies, full of bullshit. And the tables have turned. It, now you, you're you moving on about chores, but you're not entertaining it, you know, because I feel like they were entertaining it. They were lying to you by at the same time, like running off and sneaking off and 
you know, just playing the game, but you're not, you don't have time for that. That's not you. You don't have time for this. So congratulations to whoever got out of that type of energy, that situation. Congratulations to you. Um, as always, I'm sending you much love, you guys. And until the next channel message, peace. Yeah.